Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to explain about the NOAA, the NOAA Explains video. It gives a bit more deep inside information why we have developed the NOAA, what the NOAA is doing and what it is capable of. So basically the NOAA is a new platform in our collection, um, but we have we got a lot of requests about lifting more payloads, flying for a longer time, and then in the end we thought we're just gonna make the ultimate. So basically the ultimate is the NOAA. It's right here. It's a beautiful machine. It's a hexacopter. So this platform is still fully redundant. It can lose one motor. It can still fly up there. Many other platforms we have seen, they all have four motors or they have too much motors. So we, choose, we came up with this six motor version as we think it's the most efficient way uh, to be able to lift that payload and fly for that longer time. Then we also still want to stick with the hollow carbon fiber construction. Uh, we're very proud of, of course. Uh, keeps all the electronics covered by environmental impacts. Uh, it makes the drone all weather proof. Uh, as same as a Zoe and a Neo, we didn't want to compromise on the performance of the drone. So this is a very important thing. Uh, what we try to keep at a high level inside a score. Um, so it can still fly in high wind speeds, also up to 35 knots. Then, because we have requests also in more and more in, in the Middle East and we know global warming is around the corner, we want to have a forge cooling as well. So even if the active airflow is not uh, enough, we can, uh, well, there's actually automatically a fan in the drone forcing air from the bottom filtered throughout the booms and all the other electronics. So we also don't have to worry about any heat uh, overheated uh, electronics. Because everything is so well covered, we can also of course fly in colder conditions like Alaska or Iceland, which is also of course important environment where this drone needs to perform. Um, then the applications where we want to position this drone is, very, is really wide. So it's not only a cinema drone, it's, it's a drone which can have lift heavy cameras, but of course we can also lift those very expensive mapping cameras, LiDAR sensors. Uh, so basically any application is suitable for the NOAA from deliveries all the way up to cinema and security. We run the whole system for the more technical people on 50 volts, so we carry the higher voltage that makes the motors running on lower RPMs. And that's also why we have these 28 blades, 28 carbon fiber blades. Um, and that way the drone can fly for that longer time of period. Another thing we are coming up with is that we are going to let this beast fly for over two hours. Well, we can also say two and a half hours already, um, as we will we might come up with a hybrid version, as well a fuel cell ver version. So the same platform will be able to carry a, a hybrid version. That means it is a combustion engine um, where we can remain the flight time of over two hours with five kilo payloads. This will mean in the end that we can do mapping flights for a very long time and we can survey or have a, uh, survey a very, very big grid, a very big uh, surface, um, which is undoable with battery power. Uh, so this is nice stuff which comes up. We will keep you guys in touch of and um, it's something we are very excited about. Um, what we also have thought about with this integration of the, well, when developing this platform is that we want to have it completely toolless. So there's no tools needed to operate the aircraft or to get it from, uh, basically from out of the box uh, to our operational level. Um, and then we have chosen for a fixed propeller. So the biggest reason is it's safer in a way of that we have less mechanical uh, moving compo components. So a fixed propeller is as well lighter it's stronger by itself as, 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 it a complete, as it is a complete carbon fiber one piece product part um, and therefore we want to stick with the foldable, oh, sorry, with the fixed propeller. The thing to, we can have, a, we have a quick release on it, on the motor and the propeller so we can easily take it off, but that's if it's needed for transport, otherwise we will we'll leave the propeller on. Uh, and we still can remain a very small compact transport case. Besides the booms, the, the landing gear, they all have the quick release, quick releases on the side. So they all can be completely detached. There's, this is completely detachable without any tools. It's hard, maybe hard to see on the video what, what the actual size is. 
as maybe some of the, the viewers will have seen the Zoe in, in the reel before. Uh, I will show you right now what is the difference in size. Um, so you can check and see that it's, it's, it is, of course, a bit bigger uh, than a Zoe or a smallest model. Um, then you might wonder how the hell I'm, am I gonna transport this thing? So it's very easy. We have two cases. This is the third one used for the booms. So we came up with two cases as it fits in pretty much any car. Um, this case will have the layers with booms, propellers and their legs. So easy to take out. To take out. Um, and then we have a second case which is here. Wait. So, and this is your second case with just the center core, including eight batteries if needed. Okay, so the um, flight computer we're using on board is the Cube. It's the best flight controller we are, have used and have tested in the past. Uh, and it's, it's a flight controller we have a lot of tracking records uh, of. All of our drones in our fleet are flying on that same board computer. Um, and which is also nice is that all the payloads we are integrating or developing are interchangeable between each platform. So for example, an A7R Mark III camera mapping setup can be used on a NOAA flying for a long time. It depends also on the budget, but if you have a bigger budget, you can put that system under the NOAA. But that same setup can be used under a Zoe. Uh, if you want to have a more compact drone platform, for example. So guys, thanks for watching. Please keep an eye on Acecore. Uh, please follow us on any news uh, or social media. Uh, we will come up with newer additional upgrades on the platform. Any other features we will develop in the, in the coming years will be introduced. Um, that makes it, of course, a very diverse and very flexible platform as we have seen in the past from the NEO, it's still users after four, five years after the purchase, they're still flying out there. So the NOAA will be doing the same. So it will not fly for a year, it will probably fly for, for decades. So keep an eye on us.